నమస్తే టు ఎవ్రీబడి ది భగవద్గీత ఇస్ అ బ్యాటిల్ ఫీల్డ్ కాన్వర్జేషన్ అండ్ అ డయలాగ్ ఎట్ ది సనాతన ధర్మ మైండ్ ఆర్ ది మైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఎ హిందూ డస్ నాట్ సీమ్ స్ట్రక్చర్డ్ ఐ దర్ ఫర్ వైలెన్స్ ఆర్ కాన్ఫ్లిక్ట్ ఏబ్రహామిక్ ఫెయిట్స్ అడ్రస్ ఫెలో హిందూస్ ఐ దర్ ఆర్ సినర్స్ ఆర్ ఇన్ఫిడల్స్ ఆన్ ద కాంట్రరీ ది సనాతన ధర్మ మైండ్ is taught right from an early age to respect all religions and to respect all human beings in other words the hindu mind is incapable of seeing others either as infidels or sinners since the hindu mind does not see anyone as its foe it just does not seem to have the ability to recognize danger when it is coming its way even though in the past the hindus have gone through a lot of pain and suffering the hindu mind just does not seem to have the ability to recognize danger even when danger is staring at their faces let's go back to a simple lesson from history hindus uh, sound very proud that they have rebuilt the somnath temple 17 times but it but the invader ghazini came through the same route to attack india he came through the khyber pass the khyber pass i believe is 53 kilometers in length he came to the same route again and again and again 16 times why did not hindus of that time ever think about laying an ambush on his route he is defending 53 kilometers not much easier than an open war why did it not occur that they should have an ambush strategy why did they let him come all the way inside their territory and let them plunder and loot now he didn't go back empty handed he killed tens and thousands of hindus he took thousands of hindu women as slaves why did not the hindus of that period not think of an ambush did they plant scouts to warn them of impending invasion no why did they not do it simple words hindus simply do not have a threat perception they don't see they don't recognize they don't identify threats coming their way it's simply not part of their uh, i should say dna now what was true thousands of years back is also true today even in canada the second part of the same question is at least after the third invasion or fourth invasion it should have alerted them that he's going to come back he has tasted blood he's going to come back again but still it did not occur to them that they should uh, go forward and lay in ambush i don't know the details of the history but going by what we read it appears they let the invader come through the same route again and again they let him come and plunder they come and they let him come and loot they let him come and destroy the temples they let him come and destroy their women now wonder what must be the hindu women thinking of their men when she was being ravaged by uh, the invaders what must she be thinking that her men failed her let's fast forward to current times in february 2022 three temples in peel region of canada were uh, invaded and in july of 2022 the richmond hill temple part of canada was vandalized and in february 2023 the same temple that was vandalized in february 2022 was vandalized again and then barely a week after that ram mandir in mississauga was vandalized so four temples but five acts of vandalism the question 
that pops up is why did not the Hindu temple leadership of Canada see it coming? Now immediately after the first uh, three temples that were invaded in February 2022, it should have alerted the other temples of Canada. They should have seen it coming their way. They should have had an emergency meeting. They should have discussed initiatives to counter such invasion. They should have checked for blind spots in their temple premises. They should have invested in cameras. Cameras are very cheap nowadays. They did not do it. They felt so smug, so confident that what has happened to some other temples will not happen to them. Like their ancestors, the Hindu temple leaders of today uh, did not have a threat perception. They just don't have the ability to understand threats. They don't seem to have an ability to understand what uh, others are planning or scheming or thinking about them. That's not part of the skill sets. Now, four temples, five incidences of incidents of vandalized. Remember, this is not Afghanistan. This is not Pakistan. This is not even India. This is happening in Canada. Now, if Hindu temples are being invaded and vandalized in this age and in this part of the world, what is its peak of the mindset of Hindus of Canada? What is its peak of their ability to defend themselves? Now, who should be answerable for these questions? I think the temples of Canada have a lot to answer.